<laughs> Estinian. Cease your mewling, boy. It grates my ears. Forgive me. When I saw you awaken, I could not... It was such a relief. We feared you might never wake up. Now, now, Astinian. If Master Alphano thought any less of you, you would still be Nidhogg's plaything. Or dead. I, I, twas but a jest. I thank you, Alphano. And you too, warrior of light. Quite how you managed to persuade Hreisvogger to aid in his brood brother's downfall, I cannot imagine. But full glad am I that you did. <clears throat> Tis an honor to share the mantle of Azure Dragoon with one such as you. I, for my part, owe you an apology. When last we met, I did willingly loose an arrow at your heart. Can you forgive me? There is naught to forgive, Hamerick. You but acted in defense of Ishgard, as is your duty. Were you any less single-minded about it, I would not follow you into battle, nor trust you at my back. Besides, I had come to the self-same conclusion that I would have to perish for Nidhogg to be stopped. So let us dispense with the hand-wringing. I have heard enough mewling for one day. Oh! The tendrils of Nidhogg's foul presence bound up every fiber of my being, usurping my senses, but I yet retained some trace of awareness. The worm's mind was as a vast and tumultuous sea. Endlessly its black waters churned, his grief and despair at Ratatoska's murder never calming, never receding. Driven by this surging current came wave upon wave of unrelenting rancor. It was the very image of my own heart. There I saw the dark reflection of the hatred I felt after Nidhogg slew my family. When no path remained save vengeance against Dragonkind. Neither one of us had a choice. But I was blessed with something Nidhogg was not. Comrades and teachers to console and admonish me. Had I not had them to gainsay my obsession, it would surely have consumed me as Nidhogg's did him, and we would have been in all respects alike. Though his shade is banished, his spirit scattered upon the sea of clouds, I feel no joy at his passing. Where once I craved vengeance, I now crave rest. Lord Commander, my hunt is at an end. I would lay down the mantle of Azure Dragoon. My friend. He has tired himself with too many words. I doubt not that he will make a full recovery.
but he must be allowed some few days of quiet. I too must see my path to its end. Sleep well, my friend.